Hello, good morning and welcome back to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly and Part 1 of my two-part review on the brand new range from Tub Funk and Brews, The Tropical Range. In this part, I'll be looking at the Pineapple Smash, the Straw Nana Cream, and last but not least, the Mango Cream. I've got to stay for the rest. Any views or opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this review. I did not pay for the product. It was very kindly sent to me by the guys at Tub Fump and Bruce. I've also got to state, individual taste setups and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I can only personally tell you what I'm getting myself. Weapon of choice today, as always, is the V-Guard Pro 200. And that's got the AIM-09 Evo Dripper from Asphate, dual coiled to 0.21. As always in this part one, I'll quickly go through the labels and the gibbons and the safety features and then I'll crack on to the flavour review. Right, labels. I've got to admit, I mean, I've still, got, these are the new labels. There's basically Tub Fontman have completely redesigned all their labels. I've got to admit, I've still personally got a little soft spot for the original ones. I did kind of like them. These are a lot more eye-catching. I can see why Paul's gone this route um, on the shelf. These are a lot more eye-catching. Um, there's no, I like the labels. There's nothing offensive on the labels. There's nothing that's going to make the oh, forget the children brigade going, oh, oh, pitchforks, flaming torches, and all that bollocks that they do, especially in the States. There's nothing on there. Uh, we've got the warning diamond on there. We've also got the not uh, 18 and over circle. And made in the UK. Um, shake well before use. 0% nicotine, 0% milligram nicotine. Of course, when you purchase this, do it being a short film, this will come as a 50 milliliter of base and flavorings, to which you have to add either one 18 milligram, 10 milliliter nick shot. I don't know why I'm stopping today. I think it's because it's a Sunday. And that will give you a three milligram, or you can just top this up with 10 mil of VG, which will give you a zero. Um, all liquids today will be a 70 30 VG PG blend. That doesn't, oh, it does actually sound like that. Yes, it all will be a 70 30 VG PG blend. Got your ingredients, which is nothing out of the normal, made in the UK by Top of Brews. This is batch number one, and it's also got an expiry date, and they're giving it two years. All good on that one, and of course, our standard, industry standard, childproof lid, and also each bottle will come with a tamper ring. If this tamper ring is anyway damaged or broken or missing at time of purchase, demand another bottle. It's there for your peace of mind. Right, on to the flavour review. Well, since it's in my hand, I'm going to start with the mango cream. I like a mango, so I'm interested to see how this comes out. Actually, I'm not. Uh, I'm quite a fan of creamies as well, so. Oh, other thing I have got to just say, um, when you get this, these nibs are the pop and play ones, pop and plugs. So you just pop the nib off, squeeze your juice in, squeeze that back in again. I have to say this is actually a nice size hole in this as well. So if you don't want to be standing there with your 10mm nick shot going like that, and then going, my hand hurts because they never put these in bottles that are squeezy enough. You can actually take the nib out of the 10 mil and carefully pour it down the hole. The hole is a decent size for that, which is good. Oh, I fucking hate it. The 10 mil. Especially if you've got a 100% VG nick shot. Oh, it's like. Oh. Is it? Oh, fuck me. I've only done 5 mil. You can pour these in these holes. These holes are wide enough for that, which is a bonus. Anyway, I'm rabbling on today. Let's crack on with the flavour. As I said before, I am a fan of mango. I do like a good mango. And I do like cream, so this should be right up my alley. As always, we're going to do some four power levels. I'm going to start off with uh, around about 64? 64? Yeah, 64. So that's 3.7 volts. Here we go. Oh, wow. Mmm. No throat hit, which is good. This goes down really, really smooth. Which is kind of what you need anyway with, with, with a creamy load in your mouth. I'm going to regret saying that yet again. Mmm. 
for a 70 30, this is cloudy as fuck. You will be obliterating rooms and potentially pissing off people with this, so please be careful where you're vaping this. But flavour wise, it's a very subtle mango. Mainly because at the moment there's a lot of cream in this. Which don't get me wrong, I'm liking, but that mango does need a slight kick in the arse at the moment. But the creaminess of this is really good. It's full fat cream. It, 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 it's your gold top that you used to get on top of your milk bottles. It is a proper, proper nice cream. Now the coals are starting to warm up a little bit. That mango is coming through a little bit better. Does play very nicely with the cream. Is more like a creamy mango smoothie. Mm. I'm going to go up to 74. Which is now 4 volts. Mmm. The mango needs a little bit of power, just give it a kick in the ass. Coming through a lot quicker and a lot stronger now. Practically merging with the cream as you're doing it. It's so a mid range, I'm already happy with this juice. I'm going to have another quick squirt. It's a bloody nice mango, I've got to give him credit for that. Certainly hasn't skimped on the flavourings. Mm. This I would personally call at the moment a chillo juice. This is just a, I've had a hard fucking day and I'm gonna. Actually, that mango is bloody fantastic. Wow, there's a lot. There's a nice lot of ripe mango in that. The cream then comes in because it smooths it down a little bit. Mm. The flavour is long lasting as well. That's all I've got in my mouth at the moment is creamy mango. Ooh. And it's a fucking it's a fucking chucker as well. What a bonus. Alright, I will go up to 82 now, which will be 4.2 volts. Once that mango starts to calm down in the mouth, then that cream is what's left in your mouth with little hints of mango in it. That's nice. Right, here we go. 4.2. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm in here somewhere. Oh my god. Fucking cloud sea with this bastard. Um... Mango kind of takes over now, to be fair. The mango adores the power. Around about the mid-range, you get everything coming together. So basically, if you prefer a creamy with a little hint of mango, you go low. If you prefer mango, I'm still waiting for the cream. Oh, there it is. It takes a long while for the cream to come through if you're hitting this high. If you go around about that mid-range, around about that 4-volt range, you do get a nice, happy combination of the two. But don't get me wrong, it's a bloody nice mango. I could quite happily do this medium or high because the mango is that good. But with that added bonus of the cream in the middle, that's kind of going to be my happy ground. That's fucking ridiculous. Cloudy as fuck, mango as fuck, and creamy as fuck. If you're a fan of any of that combination, give that one a go. That is the mango cream. From Tub Fop and Tropical Range. Oh. Does last in the mouth a long while. That mango, especially high up, really lasts, lasts a long time in the mouth. Well, I'm going to have a quick blowout. Gotta say, it has left my wicks nice and clean as well, which is always a bonus. No one likes a shitty wick. Alright. We're gone, and I think we're, uh, I'll go creamy again, then I'll save the other one for the last part. We're going to go for the Stranana cream. Two flavours which, for some unknown reason, companies still fuck up. Banana and strawberry. They shouldn't do, by now. 
<laughs> in this day and age, no one should be messing these flavours up. But God damn it, some companies still cock them up. You either get foam banana. Oh, it's really natural. It really fucking isn't. It tastes like a bought or something out of a sweet shop. Or you get chemical strawberry, which sounds like a dictator from a foreign country. All right, as uh, before, we're going to start off at 64 watts. Gone back down to 3.7. What you or what your basic ego pen used to pump out? That's called back a while. Fucking hell. Anywho, rambling again always happens. Right here we go. 3.7 volts. Get out. Wow. No throw hit. I'm not even going to mention the clouds. You can see as every time I disappear into the ether. Flavour wise, straight off the bat, that strawberry and banana are combined them together. Once again, the cream's taken a little while to come through, so that might be mid range again. No, actually, it's the complete opposite to the first one. No, but, uh, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. First one was really, really creamy straight down the bat because the mango needed the power. This one, strawberry and the banana work really well on low power, but it has pushed the cream back. Now we've got that straight, I'll carry on. It's a very natural banana, which is good. And as the banana calms down, you're then getting the strawberry mixing with it, which is nice as well. It's a very nice strawberry. It's kind of a bit of a fruit pastel strawberry, if I'm going to be honest. It's not kind of more of a natural one. It's more of a fruit pastel strawberry. And then I'm quite alright. And yes, I'm aware I said fruit pastel and not opal fruits. That's because I'm an old fart. And I remember the good old days when things didn't have dumb ass fing names that didn't need to be changed. First I say banana, opal fruit, strawberry, then you get the cream come and just smooth everything out at the end. I'm liking that at the moment, but let's see what this does a little bit higher up. I'm going to go up to 74. Back up to 4 volts. Nice last long, long, last long, mm, long lasting, long time. Anyway, nice long lasting taste in the mouth. That cream does hang around for a while. Um, have also got to stay for a bit. Um, I did actually nick these up last week. Last Saturday I nicked these up. So they have had seven days steeping on these. I've been trying them through the week. I did find out around about that. Because, because the creamy elements of the two I've done so far. Any of the creamy ones. I'd say three days. I'd say 72 hours steeping on them. Just to let that cream flavour come out before. It was a bit weak. Um, in the 24 to 48 hour period it, it was coming through but it weren't great after 72 hours that cream just comes through lovely Whoa. right here we go four volts oh wow four volts the older slightly changes that strawberry comes through first but then is amazingly quickly followed by the banana the cream is also a lot quicker than coming in it doesn't take so long for the fruit element to die down before that cream comes in. And just, as I said before, smooths it all out. Wow. That's nice. I can't fault that at all. It's another one I'm going to say. Fruity fans, you're going to like it. Call it desserty fans, you're going to like it as well with that cream element. Mmm. Right, I'm going to do up to eight, ugh, 82 or 4.2 volts. A quick squirt. That should do just a top up there. Here we go. Alright, this one's slightly a power hole. Um, if, to get it all combined together, this one you get the cream, you get the strawberry, you get the banana. Each thing keeps on hitting at slightly different points. So you get the combo. Then as everything's dying down, you go, oh, strawberry, oh, oh banana, oh, creamy banana, oh, creamy strawberry. 
Oh, creamy everything. So I like that. I like it does kind of, you do get a flavour change in the mouth. For me personally, the higher up one was better because everything came together. But I did enjoy the other two as well. So it's going to be one you can play around with and that's always good. Basically, if, you get, if you've got a v, uh, VW device, you've got a variable wattage device, you can play around with that a little bit and get that to how you want that flavour, which opens the market up a little bit more for the people buying it as well. So if you're a fan of strawberry, banana, cream, dessert, fruity flavours, give that one a go. That is the Stranana Cream. Tub thumping topical. Tropical. Not topical. No, not topical. Coronavirus. That's topical. Not this juice. That's tropical. Anyway, rambling again. Gonna have a blowout and then I'll move on to the next one. There we go. We've got, we've got to finish this part today on the pineapple smash. No. I've got her a bit. It's been a while actually since I've had anything with pineapple in it. And um, what this doesn't show on the label is it's not just pineapple. That's one thing I might say. <laughs> on the label, on the label, you, you look at that and you go, oh, it's got pineapple in it. Bonus, bonus, it's got pineapple in it. It's got pine it's got more pineapple in it. Well it hasn't. <laughs> It's pineapple and grapefruit for this one, and not pineapple and pineapple. <laughs> just a little, just a little niggle there, but it doesn't detract from what the flavour of the juice is going to be, which I shall now get on to. Right, going back down to 64 watts. Here we are, going back down to 3.7 volts. Let's give this a crack. Well, first two elements I normally go on with, check, check. Very, very smooth. Very, very cloudy. Wow. This one awakens the taste buds really quite quick. First flavour you get is that pineapple. And that's a punchy little bastard as well. That really does get the taste buds going. This one is in complete contrast to these two. Um, those two were... No, they weren't overly sweet, but they obviously with the cream element, it was kind of more of a... This is more of a sour, because of the two fruits involved. Let's say once that part... Oh, makes the saliva glands go. I am starting to... Uh, I like my own saliva. <laughs> I haven't... Anything that's sour always makes me gargle spit. <laughs> As I say, first off, you get that pineapple. It's a really good, punchy little pineapple. And then the grapefruit comes in. Slightly sweeter than the actual pineapple. But it's... The flavour on the tongue, it really does activate a lot of air. Especially at the back of the tongue here. And straight down the middle. And there's those ones at the back, for me, when they get activated, I start to saliva. <laughs> I start to dribble. And... It's a really nice combination. It's another one that lasts a long time. But it does take a while, as I say, for that pineapple to die down before the grapefruit comes in. But once it does, oh my god, I am saliva city. Right, I'm going to go on to 74. Please don't see that as a bad point. If you're a fan of a slightly soury fruit flavours, you're going to like it. Me, personally, I'm not a fan. I just saliva too much. I've got an overactive taste buds. Right, I've got up to 74, which is 4 volts, as this room is gradually getting to a point where you can't see me. Here we go. Oh, wow. One thing I didn't say in the first part, you guys, like, these are very naturally fruit tasting. That grapefruit is really punchy now, with a little bit more power. Up. It's mixed in with the pineapple as well. My saliva glands have not got a chance anymore. But if you're a fan of these two, you instantly go, oh my god, they've done this really well. I'm going to quite, kind of quickly do this one because I am going to... I'm going to 
You can hear it. <laughs> oh, <God. coughs> oh dear, that just made me cough doing that. I'm not doing that again because that was stupid. Oh, I'll have a little top up and then I'll go up to the last one. 82 watts. I'm just salivating far too much. This is almost getting it. They're, they're very natural fruit flavours. But for me, it's getting to the point of... On the, on the saliva front of it, if I've done those sour sweets, those extreme sour sweets. <laughs> Alright, 82 or 4.2 volts. For me personally, I'll do this low down, mainly because of my overactive um, taste buds. If you, this gets sourer, the higher it goes up, the, 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 the actual flavourings get stronger. So it's up to you on this one. If you, if you want, it depends on how much sour you can take. If you don't mind a little bit, go low. If you're hardcore, go high. <laughs> Flavors last for a long time. I'm still salivating, which is not good for me. But it's not it's not it's not the juice fault. It's my tongue fault. But if you're a fan of sour fruits, then I'd give that one a go. That is the pineapple smash from Tub. Bumping Tropical. Well, that brings us to the end of part one. Um, if you have enjoyed what you've watched so far, please remember to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. My ugly mug will be appearing here very, very shortly. Give it a slap and give us a sub. So, on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, head of the department in Hell Vapors, I bid you all a good day and I'll see you very, very soon for part two. Take care, people.